is talking about, you know, the guy, the reason why guys or some guys have that sort of, um, sort of like opinion mm. is because they've either grown up seeing like their mom, who may be a single mom, mm. get shit done by herself, yeah. patting herself, handle herself, not wait for no one. Yeah. So when we're looking for those traits in girls our age or you know, around our age, yeah. we're like, why are you looking for so much? Support from the next man. Yeah. You get me? When I know I've seen that you can do shit, like girls can do shit by themselves. Yeah, seeing yeah. your potential or see, yeah, yeah. Like seeing something but you then can do. But then is it just because we're conditioned to think like that because of what we've grown up witnessing? Because there's other times sure. where, because you have to think, oh, yeah, this, this guy, he's bought this girl, this, that, this, this, this. But he could have also grown up where his dad's probably splashing out on his mum. Mm. Get me? Mm. Maybe. You get me? So I Maybe. think this made me have like, mm, it's true. But I think it has to be a balance of like, for sure, if, you know what I mean, girl, my partner, whoever wants this, mm. you get me? I'll, and it's going to make her happy, I'm going to do it. Yeah. But it's not for the, for the sake of just splashing Just doing out, it. It's like, you get me? Or that, that like expectance from, from the girl. Literally. Well, I expect my man to do this, this, and you know, it's, it would be nice if my man could do this, this, and this. It's mm. a bonus, isn't it? At the end of the day, if your man is providing, paying the bills, doing this, this, and this, anything on top could be seen as a surplus. Yeah. Because you know? it's like, they, that girl that thinks that way of that expecting, she probably only sees, she probably only saw like one half of their parent, of her parents' mm. situation. She's probably seeing her dad, yeah, splash out on her mum and that, or like, take her nice places, but it's like, hold on, what was your mum doing though? Your mum was doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Maybe you didn't, you didn't clock that. onto that. You get me? Like, there's a back and forth. There's not, yeah. not just one way traffic. Do you know what I'm saying? The one thing I clocked about, um, like some of the things you see in social media, yeah, mm. it's there's it's never um, balanced. It's never. never really. <laughs> it's never like that is realistic. Mm. It's always the extreme sides of it. One or the other. Do you get me? It's either men are trash, mm. or Females are this. There's never yeah. like that middle ground. Mm. Never hardly see that. Middle. If you think of all of the debates, arguments, threads you've seen on social media, it's always the extreme sides of both points. Mm. That's always clashing. Yeah. You get me? Whereas in real life, thinking, the person who's arguing the far left opinion, they've probably, in their, in their real life, what's happening is probably bang on in the middle. But on, online, they're pushing that far left. Opinion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You get they're hurt, isn't it? Like, I feel sorry for some girls that do get hurt though, because when yeah, because when, when they have when they have when they when they get hurt, yeah, and it's no, I wouldn't say it's no fault of their own, innit? it? Because at the end of the day, nine out of ten, when a girl gets hurt, it's when they're young, fam. Like, what type of hurt are you talk about? Though? Like bad situations with guys, stuff like that. Like whether they okay. break up, get cheated on, or something it's like silly happens, isn't it? Nine mm. out of ten, it's happened in their mid teens, late teens. Early twenties, and then now they're like twenty seven, and they got some mad problems with guys in it, like yeah. just on Twitter chatting shit. But it's like at the end of the at the end of the day, at the time when you probably got hurt, you was both kids. Neither of you lot even know how to do this thing anyway. Mm. So you're literally basing your adult opinion on childhood mistakes, fam. Yeah. It's actually mad, like oh, when wow. you think about it. Adult opinion and childhood mistakes—that's a big one. Naturally, that's what's yeah. what's basically what's going on online, isn't it? Like people are yeah. just going going ham, but it's like. When did you get hurt the first time? Oh, yeah, when I was 17, this happened to me. And when I was 19, this happened to me. You, <coughs> when I was 21, think, I'm thinking, fam. I'd be surprised if somebody our age was to tell me they got hurt now. Because yeah. I'm like, life nah, experiences. Bare like, people are age, no. Oh, shit's going on on Twitter still. Bare people are age get hurt. Twitter still. Do you know why? Do you, do you know why I say like, that? Do you feel like it's because they jumped in relationships late then? Nah, bro. It's just not everyone has either the same level of maturity yeah. or the same... Um, awareness awareness oh. awareness as, understanding as you would have like yeah. you could probably be in a situation and foresee certain things coming and you take yourself out of that situation yeah, yeah. some people they'll be completely blind to it either because they haven't experienced it before or mm. the good things that they're getting from it they think is worth yeah so it's like I think all that comes from experience then no but some from some, like some, because it's I, a habit bro I don't think it's, it's a habit because it could be your first time and you can't, what experience are you basing off? Yeah, but I'm saying, if it was your first time, say if my first time was now, I'll be running rapid because it's like, I never had that when I was growing up as a mm. teen. So I kind of would also even knew, I would even know bad mannerisms or like bad habits in a relationship or like 
where this can go down just through experiences mm. firsthand. So because I had that early. So I feel like when I see somebody now getting hurt at my age, I'm like, okay, well, nearly, well, midway through our 30s going into our 30s now. So it's either you, Damn. you you've had this late. You see that? You see that clip? The Kevin Clark thing? No. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I see that. I see that. I see that. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so like, if, <laughs> that was a perfect time for that as well. If, if you like get into that now, I'm like, surely then, if you're getting into it now, it's because you never had that beforehand then. Either you never had the chance mm-hmm. to, or you, not because it's like, fam, we would know now because of first-hand experiences from young. So we wouldn't really be in those situations. Now, mm. we might get breakup, but we won't get to the point where heartbreak, like how we felt in our early teens. Yeah, something crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you told me a mad story, Jay, like something nuts happened to you, I'm like, yeah. nigga. No, <laughs> at this age. Why do you say that though? Because I'm saying, because a lot of these people that go through this and they're probably saying it online, it's probably because it has happened to them first time mm. or maybe second time at best. Yeah. And I know that normally it's when it happens to you earlier, like Nick said, some of these girls are having, ch- well, what, what did you say? You said adulthood. Um, uh, adult opinions based on childhood experiences. Exactly. Because a lot of this shit happened during our childhood. But if you're having adult opinions happening on adult experiences, what happened to you then when you was growing up? Did you never have anybody that... You felt like you could have been with and then you could have learned that from. Yeah, because game, I'm like, if you're getting blindsided at this age, <laughs> shit, yeah. what's going on? It's dangerous. It's like, dangerous was you headstrong on your studies throughout all your teens? Mm. So and what, then what only now, like, 26, you're put, dating? Can we, put yeah. age, tough road. can you put an age where you think, okay, cool, you shouldn't really be. Yeah, I would say like coming up to 24, 25, that's like the now you're realizing kind of age. Like this is either you've just come from something that was like, okay, I learned from it. No, but that's what, that's what you have to deep, bro. Mm. That's what I'm saying. We're still at an age where we probably have some friends that are not allowed to do certain things. That's what's crazy. Well, that's what I'm saying. And then we've got mm. other friends who, they don't like their, f- their third child. We've got other third child, who, two properties deep with, other friends with the cats and homes and that. So <laughs> we're still in that period where not everyone, we're all in the same, around the same age, but not everyone's, everyone's doing the, the same, same thing. boat. Yeah. You get me? So, for example, I, yeah. I feel like if I was 21, I would get that. But 25, no, I feel so, like people so deep, are now starting to branch this year, into that. This year. Mm, good, so, let me, put, let, me, let me put this situation, cool. this scenario for you. Yeah. It's a good topic, boys. Let me put you this yeah. scenario. Yeah. You could, 24. Yeah. yeah. You could you get your first car. Mm. Now you're driving, cool. Now you can link things. You ain't never experienced linking things before. Mm. Mm. But you find yourself linking a lot of things or drop you just start dropping things home blah blah yeah 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 like, oh, wow. it's my first time dropping things yeah so you, but you're thinking mm, at your age you shouldn't really be out here dropping things dropping like, bro things he just got his car from like it's still going to be a fresh experience for him mm. whereas someone who could have been driving from 21 to say 19 mm. so yeah he's been done dropping things like, he knows the game you get me like yeah. god if he goes to your car they, they might try to get me Oh, can you drop me here? Can you, can you take me here? Sure. He knows the game. So he knows that. I listen, nah, it's not that. You get me? But you still have to go through mm. those experiences. And if, for example, I can tell you that like, I'm in that situation, I've gone through it and I've told mm. you, yo, like, listen, this thing used to happen to me. Mm. You can only learn from it to a certain extent. You get me? Because the way it might happen to me will be different from the way it happens to you. I think driving a car is a good example. You but get me? If we was to go into something more deeper, like for stuff that, again, like we see on social media, it might be about men are trash, okay? How they trash it links into like, okay, you either dated this guy, you went out with this guy. So that, that means we're t- centering on relationships. So let's say now someone's 24 and they only now just start to get to relationships. Now, I hear it because it can happen and it's possible. Mm-hmm. It's rare, but it's possible. But that's going to be a long, tough road. And... That tough road, if you start in it now at 24, 25, going 26 or 27, Jesus Christ, you're going to go through it. And then you're going to be one of those ones where when you get in your older ones, that like you're getting older, you're going to start venting online. But I'm like, <laughs> I will look from that from the outside and like, you're a bit too old to be venting like this. Bro, I, I don't know what the, the common consensus of age around, in terms of like the people who's mostly venting yeah. online, isn't it? But I, I don't know. I found when I was like 20... Not 21 older. uni twitter the time it was a lot of like yeah, the U, I think uni the twitter U lot, bro because no no it goes up to like 30 no, it definitely, to it definitely goes up i'm gonna be like what no, you it, doing it definitely there? goes That's up but if you're like 32 
out on Twitter. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to you like, what yeah, you doing Twitter, here? Facebook, they're going no, no, on there. Facts. But if you are doing that, I'm like, mm, what you doing there? something wrong there. Yeah. But then if it's coming it? from like a uni like student. Or I understand. Uni, mm. They off that not, age. Not that I understand, but it, it makes sense. Yeah, what do you mean makes, there's something wrong sense. there though? What do you mean by that? Bro, you, oh, you 32. Man, you have time to be out on, on social media. Yeah, what? what? They ain't got no kids on that, no? Yeah, but I'm thinking yeah, like, but you got either. You got 32 years like what? Life telling experience. Me, you, you, you telling yeah, me? Yeah, they're, they're, they're giving game on Twitter. Nah, 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 nah they're nah, giving nah, game nah, on nah, Twitter. We don't talk about Give, giving game. No, but they are. They're saying, "Yo, niggas is on this." Like this is what happened nah, to me back in the day. I'm gonna be looking at that. That's game, no? Yeah, that's game. I think my game is if you was 32 and you wanted to give game, maybe you had like a niece who wanted to ask you, and you kind of you've given her this advice. But there's there's a way to give game. I'm because I see it. Yeah, I hear bad mouth for yo man them up. They shit. This I'm that. like 32 compared to compared well, it's to it's like that on the online to, though. No, compared to someone saying it's some young ladies, you know, understand you get me the situation, the mm. the, the terrain and all of that in it. But yeah. just mind Safe, bro. Man here, these are some of the mistakes I made when I was younger. I just watch out for this. That's Dude, giving game. That's giving but game. Listen, but listen. Man, they made shit. Man, they're no, but listen, they you're give, The way they're age. giving the game, they're just giving it up, you get me? Nah, nah that's like... Listen, it though. depends how you decipher it, cuz. That is... No, but there's a well, way, you can, you, can, you can tell you, but you can take some of the girls or guys or whatever, when they see certain niggas or girls chatting shit online about the opposite sex, yeah? They can take and be like, all right, cool. This person looks like they're kind of crazy, but I can see what they're saying yeah, still. <laughs> let's say now, yeah. Unless well, the same things happen to them. Maybe. Like, let's yeah. say, yeah. All right. it's the, the thread begins. <laughs> I think you'll feel different. Let's say we go to a mutual outing mm. and maybe it's a family gathering or whatever and we all know certain mutuals. And let's just say For someone's sure. got a family friend and this family friend is single and like 33 mm. and they talk about, oh, you see these men here, yeah? As they're ranting, and bear in mind, we might know them, or we might, we all just might be in the same room. We have no idea who this 33 year old is, but they're just talking about man in some way where, like, you would have thought she was 21. Now, it will sit different because I'm looking at, like, oh, this young chick getting heat off their chest. Mm. Get it off your chest, we're here, we'll talk <laughs> you through it. But if I'm looking, if we're all looking at this 33 year old just coming to the yard, like, oh, how you doing, Auntie? Hey, you see these men here, yeah? And I'm, I'll be looking, man, like, you're rotten, brother. What's going on here? 33. Yeah. Let's be, you'll be more wary of her than the young. And at some point, a 32 year old coming to complain about not taking no re- no responsibility for themselves. <laughs> you 32, bro. How the hell? Not even one. Are you putting yourself into that situation hey, at 32 man. years old? It's That's stupid. You, you, be looking, line, you be looking at them from a distance, like, right, you stupid. She, she got some shit that she needs to And then she's trying to give you advice after. But it's cool if they're 22, Calm. 23. <laughs> Ease it down. But it's cool if they're 22, 23. I don't know. I'm not saying it's cool. It's more understandable. It's more understandable. You're because at that they age where there. you're still making a lot of mistakes. So at what age are we saying they shouldn't be chatting shit online? I want to say chatting shit, but I would definitely say, I would say him. I'd say from range. like, 25 upwards that's what i'm saying i'm saying like that point that's when you've actually had like once you leave two. uni and you've had your first proper job yeah mm. from then on life experience will hit you without uh, you even when you have your first it. proper job and you have to grow up and you have to start paying bills yeah. properly you ain't got time to be mm. you get me putting yourself in certain situations sure because sure. you got bills to pay bruv if anything yeah. you're going to be you complaining about what the landlords are doing you're going to be complaining about road tax you're going to be complaining road about stuff problems. There. you ain't going to come and Complain, yeah, listen, I met this guy on Tinder, whatever. Get this young crap out of here, Speaking bro. for like facts, two weeks. Facts. And I got into this, brother, you're 24, bro. You're not even 24, you're like 25, 26, mm. 27, and you're going on Tinder. Mm. Bro, you know what you used to get to? No, not that, it's not wrong, Tinder, you get me? Keep doing, if you're going on Tinder, keep doing your Tinder, but you're getting into situations. <laughs> You're getting into situations based doing. on people you found on Tinder. No, probably, don't be bro. getting on Tinder still. Why? What's, wrong, what's, what's wrong with this online dating thing? No, it's not an online dating thing, fam. Why? That's mad. Yeah, That's I'm, desperate, I'm, in my opinion. I've, 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 I've thought it's the not same me. Way. But it's it not depends. Me. It online depends. dating is not me. I know, no, 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 no. no. I don't think it's all of us in here, bro. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is that, what I'm saying is, is that, yeah. The reason why I call it desperate is because for the man then that's on there, it's just trying to smoke cheeks, cool. And the guy that's on the chat smoke cheeks called cool. that's, We're not that's talking about desperate one, though. But we're, no, we're not talking about that, bro. Because it's desperate, but I'm not talking about I'm talking about going on there to find love and that. Why is that desperate, that's desperate though? Because that's nuts, bro. How? You're going online. Go I've, out I've, in the social, I've, I've like, go take, out in a real social like, world. Bro, like. that's deep this year. I don't think is is desperate, yeah? Because it's like saying you networking with people on LinkedIn is desperate. It's, you're, it's, it's, that it's, is desperate, it's, it's help. How? It's helping you reach people that 
in your norm women. Maybe you're doing that for work. It's completely different. No, it's not. It's the same thing. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. It's a platform that's helping you reach people where in normal life you wouldn't be able to reach. That's in work. This is trying to gain. This is trying to gain something. Survive the next day. Yeah, you're trying to bottle, eat, bro. bro. You're trying to eat. You're trying to wait, 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 wait. So, so, make bread. So, so wait, wait, wait. We're just talking for. You're talking. making me back this thing like is is me. get me. <laughs> I know. No, 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 I ain't got no. I ain't got no. I ain't got no. Just check my phone. I ain't got no shares and or stocks and I ain't holding no stocks or shares and Tinder for now. But. <laughs> I'll move, bro. I don't need Tinder. You know me, straight. <laughs> no, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about investing. Like, for nah, the next bro, you know, you'll be nah. you hit us on group chat. I, man, them. I'll do the next thing. thing, thing is when I put up. you on game, though, you get me. You, you, you look yeah. into that. But, anyways, um, yeah. I'm not on crypto, so I don't want to. No, no, no. That's not no, me. I'm, crypto I'm not in that. That's all I'm uh, hearing every day, bro. Um, yeah. Bruv, yeah, this online this online thing. So, the the people that is worked for and they've gone and they found that like, the perfect match, perfect person, whatever, in it. Mm. And it's, it's, it's working. It's become successful. Yeah. What would you say to that? I think they settled. Oh come on, bro! I'll be honest. I feel like they settled. I feel like they've only they've found the best of the yeah, what they could what fine. they can find on that. Spinal. In my opinion, they could have found better going outside. How do you know, bro? But no one knows. That's the thing. Actually, it's just my opinion. Isn't I want to ask this, yeah, and this is a general question because this is why I want to support this. Mm. And I thought about this like probably two weeks ago. See dating. What's the success rate in dating? Because in my experience and what I've also understood with life and all friends I've spoken to and how they meet, met their partner, well, when you're just doing online dating or like, yeah, yeah I've just found a person we went on a date, what's the success rate? Because oh, I feel yeah. like a lot of, you can do dates. Anybody can do dating. Yeah, Anybody can, can do this and do that. Anybody can do two or three dates. But did you guys ever actually get together? Now, I understand the point of dating is to get, get to get know like them. in person. So we know the, the main outcome of a dating it's because you want to get to know the person and know if they work for you and whatnot. And if it is success rate, is that you actually end up being with the person. Yeah. So that's the main real game of dating. But I feel like in today's generation, we're dating successfully to know if this person works or not. But what I'm finding is that we're finding a lot of things that don't work and have they actually ever formed a relationship from there? Because why would you form a relationship bars. if they don't work? If the, if the things you're finding don't work? Now, no, you're not listening well. because I'm saying... That can work and it can't work. Now, what I found is that when it comes to dating, people it don't work. How many dates have actually worked and they've actually ended up in a relationship? What type of dates from the online dating platform? It can be online dates or it can be even just like meeting a person yeah, that he, you don't know. He's basically saying from in, he's saying in general, yeah. From what like his social circle, people that he talks to, whatever, yeah. dating don't work, innit? Like no one's I really, don't feel like dating actually so works. Going out like, and then you get I actually them. feel like what works is you knowing somebody and Every time you've never actually looked for it, it could be a thing where maybe you've either known this person for an extensive amount of time and you might have just hung out. You might even be in a relationship and that person might even be in a relationship, but you guys all know each other mutually. I know what you're talking about. And I, ne- and I can never describe in terms of like what is that it not is. settling? No, no, it's not settling. No, 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 no. Basically, it's not basically, what he's trying to explain is this, isn't it? Because you're just settling for what's already no, 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 you're not so hearing it. You're not what he's saying it. is this, yeah. Instead of actually going out and be like, cool, I'm going to try, me and you are going to try and see if this works. And go on, go on dates. Let's see what works. We're going to link up, go to a restaurant. We're going to go cinema. We're going to go, I don't know, ice skating. Let's, mm. It's it's not forced, but we're trying to do something here, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Instead of actually, what really does happen is the natural thing. You're just linking, you're just seeing this person, like they're cool. And it like, could be, however, it could be at your work. Yeah. And then they're just calling no one, it. For some reason, they're just like a vibe. I don't understand, but she's just a vibe, whatever. Then you move on, you do something else in a group of you don't go somewhere and you you catch yourself vibing with this person again. You're thinking, no, hold on, man. She's wavy. And then from then on, that's and then from then on, seen each other how many no, 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 times? but then from then on, what's the next stage you go? You look, normally will form. I've, I've, I've found that's how date most, or something. That's and how then most all of a sudden you start dating. But like one, no, no, it's not like a dating. It's not, like, it's not no it's because from one, it's gone brazen. No, because we've known each other that's before the dating thing. What I'm saying is that dating thing is like you are strangers and you've met. Yeah, what do you understand about this, bro? You're strangers and you've met. Mm-hmm. Whereas when you're just work, it could be someone you work with or somebody that you yeah, are. You've been knowing them, basically. You've been knowing them either. It could be, again, it could be like maybe your youth work and this person works in the same youth place or maybe you go to the... So you're, you're talking about dating that's set up versus like natural dating. Natural. Who you've yeah, you just... Already naturally got to naturally know. Naturally got to know. I feel, like that, I feel like that's what... Works. I not, feel like no. You don't start dating them. You don't start dating saying. them though. What the fuck, bro? Listen, what? nigga. What you ain't, you ain't, get, you ain't <laughs> listening. What does dating mean, bro? That's what. So <sighs> dating, yeah, is like bruv. a process of time where you date in it. You go on multiple dates in it. Like that's what dating is, right? 
Okay. I, I, I agree or disagree? I don't know, fam. You what do you mean you don't know? Don't are confused. Are you listening, bro? <laughs> it's not about me listening, bro. You're confusing me, fam. Well, I'm, trying to, I'm, right trying, I'm trying to get on the same page as you. Me, uh, cool, go on. So dating, just so we're all clear, yeah. in it? So dating is, is a period of time where you go on multiple dates with one person. I'm just going to do the do, do thing. Is that, is, that, no, that, is that not dating, though? The fuck are you doing? It could be six months, three months, we've been dating each other. I'm going to find the definition of dating, fam. All right, cool, go. Let's just let him do it, innit? Because this is a pretty simple concept, I would say. But I understand what you're saying. It's like you naturally, all of a sudden, you're feeling this person and they're feeling you. And you're thinking, like, fuck this. Let's just do, let's see what's going on there. Because we could all do that, the date. Yeah. We could all do what is the normal, we don't know each other, we're dating, we'll see how things see go. See how things go, yeah. But I found that the success rate of, like, do you actually get to still uh, keep, stay with a person? Dating doesn't yeah. work. Dating. Doesn't work. I feel like I'm just filling time. Listen, listen. Dating is a stage of, ro- dating is a stage of romantic relationships whereby two people meet socially with the aim of each assessing the other's suitability as a prospective partner right? exactly. in the future intimate relationship. Yeah. So people, That's, that doesn't yeah. work for most people straight up because you keep trying and trying. It doesn't work. You've tried it with like 10, 15 people in the past yeah. like four, four, five, six years. Mm-hmm. And that's my take. <laughs> I feel terrible. Like, I feel like in life, I feel like now we, date has become more of a thing where like all of our people, what the Asian, we're like, yeah, I went on this date with this person or I went online date with this guy. That's normal. But I think that's all that happens. No one's actually. Mm. I, I've never seen. I, I haven't know, seen see, a good percentage this, this of what success. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, though. Yeah, percentage is wax. This this is, I don't know. But I don't know the percentage in it. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah, let's separate the online dating thing from just in life dating. Yeah, you get me? Because if you come, as you just said, you've come, you've you've noticed how cool there's a girl who might be in your circle, maybe your first connection circle, second second connection. Circle. You find a cool and you both know of each other. You both, does. you get me, there might be like a nice, decent chemistry there. Yeah. yeah. And then that cool, you think, you know what, yeah, she could be a vibe. Yeah, I, like, cool. Sometimes if you guys just naturally are cool, we just fell into it and all of a sudden, oh, well, you get me, we're doing a thing. That's also dangerous as well because it's like you, you just walked into it blindly and because everything was going nice, you just kept on going with the vibe. Yes. It's not. We're not talking about whether it's dangerous it's, or not. It's, no, it's whether it's successful no, no. or not. Yeah, successful is what what determines successful. Whether it's you end up getting together and yeah. staying together, or not, or remain together. That what? would you class that as being successful? Well, yeah. If you're together and you yeah. end up remaining, I was talking about yeah. You, you just got together and you broke up. That's not successful. Is, do you class that as successful? It no. Depends how long. Yeah. They, it's, it depends how long they were together. No, it's not successful. Fam. You could be you could be, be together for, for however long you. You're not together anymore. So no, we're successful. I think the main, yeah, the main, you're confusing yeah, the, the main, the main, the main, no, because the main, bro, the main thing that we're talking about, bro, wait. is literally speak to a girl right now, call any random no, girl, listen, be like, yo, how, this is not, this is not a point. Yeah, man. but I think, I, I don't but think, bro, I don't think, wait, wait, I don't think, like, you, like, you interrupted me, my guy. Because I'm, I'm trying to make sure that we like, we're clear what we're talking about. No, but I don't think we're on, we're talking about the two same points. I think what we're talking about is That's what I'm trying to make clear, fam. So basically, if you call any random girl right now and be like, yo, how many dates do you think you've been on in the past, like, I don't know, three years? She's a tw- she's maybe she's twenty five year old, old girl. Yeah, ask her how many dates she's been on. She'll, she'll probably say something in the in the teens, in it like fifteen, like twenty, like something around that time. Mm. Do you have a boyfriend right now? No. Is it successful that you're dating? No, it's not successful, fam. So it's 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 that argument of okay, cool, or just yeah, posing posing the question anyway. What is success a, rate? Because yeah, that's brazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the success the success rate, but there's also going to be a counter argument, <laughs> and there's also going to be stats to be found on the other side. On there always side. will be. You get always me? will be. And I don't. And, and, and I don't yeah. know the, the success rate for that either. But I'm, my thing is, if you're taking your approach, yeah. Same thing. What can go wrong is okay. Cool. You you've come together. You're dating. And oh, yes, yeah, she's not for you. She's not for you. Boom. You leave it. That's unsuccessful. Mm. Your situation, and the, it, that's what I'm saying. Whatever situation, it can work for whoever or it can work for yeah. whoever. It's down to whichever one you prefer. But for your situation, cool, you're vibing with someone, whatever, whatever. And I don't know whether you're in a class that you're, you're naturally friends or you're, you get me a suit, like, yeah, same kind of friendship. Yeah, I was saying naturally friends, friends yeah. Circle. She might be a friend of a friend, I know. Yeah, and then the chem, like, chemistry <laughs> starts a chemistry starts coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only going to keep going along with it because you like the vibe you're seeing until you see signs that you don't like. Hundred, you get me for sure. But at the point but, where wait, 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 wait. Okay. But at the point where you start seeing signs is when you actually like you sort of refocus your intentions. Yeah. Because at the beginning, your intention was, oh, I'm trying to 
you get me you become serious with this girl it's not no 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 exactly no, it's not. so, it's so not, your thing not. was just um you get me no we just know each other yeah but when you start vibing your 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 intentions then is not oh, i'm i'm not gonna you, you're just you get me you're just enjoying just the vibe, where it is sure. you get me but until you realize oh as you said oh there's a vibe there you know what yeah, like, i might want to do this wavy. again you're yeah. going to recalibrate your your intentions mm, to, so, so I'll see you know like, what i'm, right, cool, I'm gonna see let's there. see what's going on For so sure. then you start to assess oh you know what what's she actually like is she right and then you might even start so from me from that point on if you're both in agreement, like you know what let's both explore this yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. you're dating for me that's now, for me no no nah, i feel you on that. that now we're on the same me. page because that's when you've done not the conventional dating where we're strangers yeah hundred people they're too different that's yeah, what very different. Yeah, saying, exactly. two they're different very, that's what i was trying so to land like on you're, you're da- dating someone you already know is most likely more successful as dating someone that's a stranger that's, that's, what, what, I, point, that's what i was trying to say because when yeah. you're saying just dating i'm like okay what type of dating yeah yeah, 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 yeah you can do that, that you can't do that from Basically, online yeah, dating sure, you get sure. me yeah, yeah and i feel like so to summarize the point yeah is like dating someone you don't know is less from what i've always seen and i've always known and even what i've experienced it's less successful than actually dating someone you do know. Already know. Because I feel like that is when you've already got to know the characteristics. You can't even, even when you're just talking to them as a, as a friend, as a person. You already half know the vibe. You already anyway. half, it's like I'm already invisibly dating without actually. Because you like the vibe yeah. for a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see, see it. it. Like, I know you like, I know your favorite colors, purple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even I, need to ask you that. I know your <laughs> trait. I know you get that from your mom or like your dad, or yeah. I know that you like to do this because it's like that in your household. Like, yeah, like instead of me know. having to skip through that whole thing, first date bullshit yeah. man's known you with no pressure already so then yeah, when you get to the dating it's because we both know that we kind of want to do this you kind of want to do it and you kind of already know the vibe yeah. and you know that we don't have to do this because we was already friends before facts so i'm saying like we don't have to we know we don't have to do yes. this because like come yes on, like, yes, yes we yes. could just go for a them lot and just bro. kick it with them you get and me? that's we're kicking was, it alone literally and that's what i was thinking like just two weeks ago i was like brother i don't think random dating i just think it's conventional to fill time because I, I just i haven't heard somebody's because I just haven't heard someone say, I went on this date with this guy. I've heard it's going well, and I heard it's this, I heard it's that. But I've never heard, oh, yeah, like, me and him are all together, we're together now. And, like, I just haven't heard that. And if I have, I might have heard it once in, like, how, in, like, what, the past two, three years. i got a bar, yeah. Everyone can date. i got a bar. Johnny, I need you to hear this one, yeah. Because, like, I want the man that's view on this, innit? All right. Cause I was going to, I was, I'm not going to lie, yeah. I was looking for some smoke. I was going to post this. On IG, on <laughs> stories, on smoke, innit? Yeah. But basically, but I, I, I thought better, innit? I was like, no, nah, I ain't got time for that today. Uh, basically, this I'll is my- it, What type of smoke you looking for? <laughs> bro, bro, smoke. Not smoke, smoke. Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> Looking for some smoke? You, you tripping? I'm no, you ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not smoke like that. But like, basically, yeah, I feel like a lot of women, they want, deep down, bro, deep down, they really want a man, innit? They what? Want, they want a man. They want a man. They want a man. Every girl wants a man. Every girl yeah. wants a man. Innit? Facts. Like yeah. they want, they want a man. Night shining armor. Take care of them. Make sure everything's straight. Say, baby, everything's gonna be alright. Don't worry <laughs> about nothing. Do you get me? Here's this. Hold Don't this. Worry about the sweetheart. Don't worry about it. You're beautiful. Do you get mm. me? They love that shit. They want, they want that. Yeah. And every girl deserves that. Don't get me messed up. Any yeah. girl deserves that, right? Cool. I mean, wait, wait. We're giving it. Nah. <laughs> we're being nice. We're being nice. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny's gonna J double O. Just pull it behind my back. So I look the camera right in the eye. You get me. So, but my bar was this, innit? So every yeah. girl wants that deep down, and some girls they act like they don't need it. You get me? They act like, mm, like it's cool. Like I'm straight, whatever. Like yeah. bun guys, whatever. I'm gonna do this, do that, do whatever I want. But deep down, they really want a man in it. But my thing is that most girls nowadays, some girls anyway, they don't know how to to get a man. They don't know how to actually attract a man in a way where they want oh, them for what they want. Oh, my days. So That's they, kinda, yeah, I, I like this. I understand that. My I like opinion, this. Girls, the girls know how to attract a guy for like, for sex and like in that lusty like manner, in it. Like they know how to, you come on, you girls know how to attract a guy. Yeah. You I put like the nice this. dress on, the nice leggings, the nice whatever. You look amazing. Mm, yeah. Man won't smoke that. Yeah. But you don't you don't put on a so, so you don't put on saying, a pattern where it's like, oh, she looks like wife. Time, you're saying like us anyway. Girl, do girls really know what 
a man, man really wants. is really looking for. Take away the, you can get me the looks, the looks and the, the gnash and the, Bro, you get me the makeup, get the yeah. frontals and the, yeah. the what, what else did I learn today? I went frontal, closure, <laughs> I left. five by five, six by six, <laughs> yeah. all of that, you get I me? I don't know what Johnny just said. I still. learned all of that today, you get me? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, so you're saying like, right, cool, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's Do you get true. me? They know how to attract the guy on some, listen, oh, I find you attractive. 100%. I want to, I want to, I want to get to know you, I want to, but really, Judy, you're attracting us for the smoke. The things you may tweet, the no, things you, you, you may, the, the, the IG there, posts though. and stuff. I think there's like, a catch there. Talk to me. I think that the girls that do mm. attract a guy in that way, I'm talking in the way where like- In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. Sometimes they don't know why they're attracting. Like they yeah. don't know what they're doing. Yeah. That's yeah. attracting. But you know what they're doing? They're just being themselves. Just being, yeah. But there's girls out there that just, they want to be a certain way. Yeah. They're like, oh, guys give that girl a lot of attention. Let me be like that. And let me do this and do that and post this. And yeah. do you get me dressed this way? Oh, I think they're looking too much for a guy. For a guy. They're, they're doing like, too much. Get that. The guy going to come find you. Fi- just Listen. keep doing you. Mm. It's a guy's job. For me, I think it's the guy's job to, to go come find a girl. Exactly that. But I think that's why they don't know what it is that mm. the guy. Now, what is it that a guy is attracted? Like, how can I attract a guy? I mean, they, go had to ask that yeah. they go basic. They go basic first. I've had, I've had that. I've had, had, I've had this dilemma with like one of, one of the homegirls. Yeah, mm. sometimes she sends me like like screenshots of DMs that she receives. Like, look, look at what, look at the type of guys. I'm and that's the, that's the energy you're putting out there, darling. <laughs> Do you get me? But at the same time, sometimes uh, my thing to her is show. you're not putting yourself in the right positions to be found by the guys that you, you want, want to be, be found. Exactly. You get me? That because like. You have to live in the real world, man. You can't look real on, life, you can't look at the man them that physically look like the guys that you'd want to be with mm. online and see the type of girls that they're with online and try and mirror that. That's when you start getting the catfishes jumping your DMs yeah. mm. or the, the joke men jumping. You just need to find who you are as an mm. individual person, add a bit of source. Get Bob's your uncle, literally. Like it's that simple, and like, that's something I was gonna put on IG in it, but I mm. knew I was gonna get a little energy. You was gonna was, get a lot like, of yeah. energy. No, chill. for sure. Because I'd rather start on the pods too, because <laughs> it's true. That's that's what might be. Because that's what I see in it. Because yeah. I've got like female that's friends like, that's in like that. Big Twitter, and I and I see that, and I'm seeing these. I'm like, listen, I know you want a man. I know deep down. And a man ain't gonna want this, man. They, they, but maybe some guys get me. Some guys might want this. Yeah, but, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah, for the wrong reasons, though. But on a real take, if you're gonna find a man that's you get me, respectable, trying to be there for you and you only, flaunting yourself and doing all so crazy you, stuff is not gonna get you. Do you think that. girls should just, like, just stop trying to. Obviously, I'm not saying every girl does this, but the ones who are, like, living life looking to get into a relationship or looking for a man specifically. Forget about that. Just yeah, live your my, life. Yeah, my advice for a girl that's really looking to be in a, like a serious relationship in the near future, like it's like real talk this year, 2022, like really trying to hold down a man. Like they want to be in a relationship. They want to be going, flying out together, like memories and that, being with your families and that, like doing that mm. stuff. Just be yourself. Focus on your own work. A guy is going to find you in it. All this trying to like post the sexiest picture on IG and that and trying to have the most like smartest captions and fam, fuck all that mm. forget all of that stuff because that that guy that really is really like trying to like smoke you and be with you like for real for real and be like your man is going to see that and go nah burn that man she's yeah. one of them girl yeah do you get me she's one of those girls man and I then you've, you're just pushing away good I, good niggas fam. i think it's also down to them being as very honest as they can because what i find especially with the girls to this day i've never heard a girl being accountable to say I'm not really doing it for that though. I'm just doing it for me. I'm doing it for me. I'm focusing <laughs> on me and that. Yeah. If you're that honest with yourself, because end of the day, everyone still wants a, a man to call home with. Everybody, end of the day, we all have something to focus on on ourselves. But yeah, if you're not looking, there's nothing wrong with saying you're not looking. As long as you mean it. As long as you really mean that you're not looking for a man. But deep yeah. down, be honest with yourself. If you still feel like there's an inkling of you, it's like, I do want to get to know somebody do you want to get to know somebody or do you actually want to be like, no, I would like to get cuffed? I've never really heard a girl say it wholeheartedly, no, I'm ready for love. I can't lie to you. I'm ready for love. Now, whether that's because they don't want to seem as weak and they want to seem as vulnerable out here for their heart to get broken. Well, no, that's, it's dangerous though. It's very dangerous and I understand it. I, say that. I fully understand I, I, it. I think it's dangerous for what I've said in terms of, I don't want it to come across like I don't want girls to quote unquote be like... Like portray a sexy image online, in it. Like if you want to do that, you want to be sexy. Like that's up to you, it's your bodies. But in terms of for the girls that really want to be in a relationship, just be mindful 
of what you post on socials and how you portray yourself on socials. Because, yeah, the right guy that some people probably feel like you deserve because of the person you are, is a, like you're a good person. But because of the way you portray yourself online, it's like, you're not going to attract the guy you want. You're going to keep attracting the guy that's just want to smoke you. Mm. And that's it. And just not really want to take you seriously. You got to just really like, look at how you present yourself. Like, mm. properly. Like, seriously. Stop just taking pictures and putting them on social media from when you go out to the clubs and to the bars. And What about when you go work? Take that po- that, take that picture. Do you get me? What about what about them photos? What about them photos when you're out with your mum and that? Put those photos on that. Mm. Really show a guy that like, actually... No, I'll, she's a wholesome person. Like, yeah, I'm fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there was a period where I used to go on um, certain girls' IG pages, never followed or liked or anything. But if it was public, and I remember used, they used to put certain posts up, I used to say to myself, she could actually be a potential wifey. I, I always, I'll be lying to you if I said I didn't do that. Mm. Based on what times. Just on what the content I saw, it was like, oh, she's actually different. There's actually other things she likes. Like, she's actually more of a, she has a different side to her than just stereotypical. Yeah, you can show your body and whatnot. But yeah. if I see something different, everybody knows you can do that. If I see something different, you're posting stuff about life. And yeah, obviously your girls have goals, pictures and all these memorable quotes and that. But something memorable like how maybe your family member, just something different where you appreciate life in general. Yeah. What we get, facts about stuff that I've never even seen or like, m- it fascinates my brain. But I know you're also a good looking girl too. For sure. But you put that on the side of it. I'm like, yeah, I always used to think this girl's a swoof. Just context, man. Because yeah. I feel like with girls, especially when they know as well, we've got like female friends that might hit us and be like, yeah, this is what I get in the DMs, blah, blah. And it's like, look at your page though. Like, pattern up. If your page was different, it wouldn't be this way. Like, yeah, it's just, it's just, The thing is, is that it's those girls that would. And you know when you say like, you don't really see girls that actually say they're looking for love. I see that on IG stories. Like, oh, me and, me and someone's, um, someone's son this year. Like, no, that ain't F happening. Off. You get me? F right Impossible. Off. Because everyone know, not knows you as, but you portray yourself as a little hoe, isn't it? So yeah. everyone sees you as, oh yeah, you might be. Well, that was a bit tough. Still. No, but, no but, it's, but that's what I'm saying. This he is what, is in, a man, in some man's mind, this is how we're seeing some of you girls, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I always used to think to myself. But you think you're going to be a serious candidate for, to, to be in, in a relationship? If I, if I always knew she was like a someone who was very active, like in terms of a lot of people, very popular, now, if her job inclined her for her to kind of like have that popularity, that's understandable. But if you're just living lifestyle and you're popular like that, and a lot of people know you, I'm like, mm. so what? What are <laughs> we? So what are we saying? Because a few episodes ago, we had the conversation around UK girls versus American girls. Yeah, and I think that like this is some of the girls bringing out that you get me that American side of, or that Western. Well, they're litty, and yeah, yeah, you get me. And they're litty. That's a good vibe. Yeah. They ain't gonna wife them, them jokes, though. Yeah, it's all like as if like a wife none of them things. Though. Yeah, no, no. 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 I, I didn't say. No. I didn't say. Yeah, I said. Oh, I, I mean. I said, you mean I, what? I, that, you know what? It's a good time. Like, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's not like as if like I'm saying. Oh the, yeah, obviously we know US girls. They bring that energy, and we appreciate yeah. it. But it doesn't mean we go wife you lot. Doesn't mean we have intentions that way. <laughs> just the way you said it, bro. I'm like, do you know it's mad? Said, it's 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 that sounds mad confusing for a girl right there. Like, what the fuck do you want from us, bro? No, listen. I want to be as clear as possible. Yeah, if you're doing lifestyle, you want to be lit. That's cool. Like you want to do that. Not looking for a relationship. Not yeah. serious till you're thirty. Cool. That's your business, in it. That's yeah. fun. Have fun. Go wherever you want to do. Just do what you got to do. Live life in it. Cool. But if you're a girl, like I said. That is genuinely like, no, I want to be in a relationship. I'd rather be in a relationship than on the streets. I don't really try to link guys. I don't really want to be doing this. This is long. I'd rather a guy that loves me to get me. I know what I'm getting for Christmas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Valentine's Day is coming up. You want to be with your hubby. Then you need to manage what you post. Pattern up. Focus on your work. Do you get me? Just focus on getting your bread. And a guy will come and find you like it's our job to do. You get me? Like, that's going to happen. Don't think you're gonna find it through social media and posting the sexiest pictures and posting the, the, the greatest quotes and being on Twitter and active. And it's not gonna happen that way. Mm. And if it does, you're only gonna get the, the attention of guys that just wanna come and just smoke you up. Smoke. And when they smoke you up, don't be moaning, talking about, oh, guys, no, bro, I'm not gonna to lie to you. You're, 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 the way you're moving, you're not gonna get what you want, innit? That's not the way you do it. But that's just coming from a guy's perspective. If you take my guy's perspective, cool. If you don't, then continue doing exactly. what you're doing and let me know how that goes for you, innit? <laughs> Show me your boyfriend at the end of the year. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Well, yeah, <laughs> Don't say it. Yeah, it's kind of like convey yourself or p- apply yourself amicably to the way how you want this guy to treat you. Trust so if you're in these places where let's say you're working and you're focusing on the grind the way you want to go in the future, the guy that you're also hoping that can be that same person that you're kind of moving towards will find you. 
alive. Whereas if you're kind of moving in a way where it's like I'm still trying to do up lifestyle, which is cool. We ain't saying no to it. Mm. But we're just saying if you are showing up lifestyle, yes, you can do the bikini pictures and all of this good stuff here. Well, don't be surprised if the guy that you want is not the guy that's reaching out to you in your DMs. That's Ooh. the facts. Ooh. It's the facts. That's, that's the, it's the guy that they want. Literally. Because that that yeah. it's the guy that they want. Because the most girls, they will want a certain type of guy in it. And it's like, all right, cool. You want a guy that's, you know, like respectable. He ain't really out too much. He's low key. Um, he's he's respected though. You get me, man. When the man see him, he gets respect. Everything's good. You want a guy, but then you're always out with these joke, man. Trying to do up lifestyle and do trying you know to do so up this. Years old, Every yeah. girl likes porn star martinis, bro, and calamari. Mm. You know what, is that all your posting on your socials, bro? You're so mad. I just thought of this year. Mm. Man, them not move to wifey material. <laughs> Facts. Like, mm. if you think of all the girls you've moved to, yeah. I'm talking about moved. Mm. Huh. Yeah. You're right on that, you know. You did, it's not your wifey material. It's not wifey material no. at all. But if you talk about I'm the girls, I'm probably intimidated. I can't. But lie. if you talk about the girls that, I think I have to step but if you talk <laughs> about the girls that you that are wifey material in your eyes, isn't yeah. it? Wife, wife, everyone's got different types, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How if you, in terms of the way you approach, it's them, a different approach. It's, it's not like, normal. You more like got to know them. Mm. You spent time to get to know them. You didn't and I let move them to them. Also, get to know me before get me I there. speak to them. So if you are a girl and you're just getting moved to you left, right, saying your DMs, <laughs> then I'm sorry to say it. Yeah. She, ain't, she ain't wifey. You ain't married. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, you ain't being perceived as a wifey. Yeah, you're not too. being perceived that way. Yeah. Yeah. Lie, though, there has been certain odd ones, only odd ones. Yeah, there's like, always going to be anomalies there's, here. There's and been there. certain guys that told me, yeah, um, I, I I met my girl, I just DM'd her, I met my girl this. Now I've heard that. Yeah. Now whether how long that relationship lasts and whether it's serious or not, I don't know. But no, but I'm talking I've about I'm talking that. about getting to I'm talking about moving time. Like you're just dropping yeah. bars. You just you get me. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. There's some guys purely because of what you see. You might as well just start start to stop it. Purely because of what you see, you are like your moving them based off of visual yeah. appearance. Whereas the ones that you get, you you're trying to get to know, mm. you're like more scratching different surfaces, trying to get because because from what you see, you're it's not like you're not sure, but it's it's something you'd want to find out more about. Yeah. You get me? It's like things are like apples. You get me? <laughs> you just wash it and bite it, and the wifey materials are like tangerines, or you have to peel it. Peel the, peel the I was gonna you say get me? kiwi fruit. You got to be delicate. Or a tangerine. Do you apple? That's a question you got to ask yourself. Or your tangerine. Are you apple or a tangerine? Do you get me? Is man, I'm trying to really get can to I, that good see stuff. The inside. Or you one of those easy or man, I'm just the easy for <laughs> Sainsbury's joints. You get me? <laughs> what do they call it? Shit, shit. I just are throw you a away. Fruit? <laughs> and I just you throw me? you away. Are you your table fruit or your pat lunch? I'll fruit? never forget when um I think it was PK. He was like how. A lot of these guys want these Indomie girls. Oof. Very quick. Quick, quick just 90 seconds. Just <laughs> 90 seconds. In and press out. Press the start. Literally press, press the start. Stop. Stop. Press I'll the never start. forget when he said that. I was like, yeah, Indomie Yeah, girls. for sure, man. For it's sure. Still. You need to warm them up for a minute and you're, you're there. That's your yeah, meal. man. Everyone's there. Whereas that. you want a really home-cooked meal. You get me? You have to go out, buy the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Take your time. from scratch. Put it in there. And, and then the, wait yeah. as well. And wait, because there's, there's, there's the girls out there, man, literally, man. There's the girls out there that are really doing what they're supposed to be doing the right way. And that's when they end up in relationships. Now. Mm. But you girls that really want a relationship, you out here and the journey moving like all these singles girls. The journey is sometimes yeah. natural. Well, not sometimes, mostly. Yeah, it's, it's natural. Transition into a relationship is not, is one, like at every stage, it just seems right. It's not like, oh, no one's really getting pressure to yeah. be able to take the next step. Or but that's but this. that's what some of these girls are doing. They're trying to force things and pressure the next guy to do this. And oh, he's not doing this. And you I think, wanted to. I'm like, bro, you, you think, think this is gonna work? Yeah. Fam? You think they feel like they're running out of time? Yeah, and you know what's mad? You know what's mad? Yeah, it's mad to actually think that way because it's like, obviously, as guys, we don't, we don't necessarily think that way. You know, I, I, I'm not too sure. We're, we're running out of time. Yeah, they went out of time to be in a relationship. I don't know. I've not experienced yeah, that that yeah. mindset, but I would assume like, rock. What girls probably are thinking about that, innit? They're probably thinking, thinking like they want to get married and, that, and there's no one marrying once them. They hit a certain age. Oh shit! Yeah, they're probably they, panicking now. You get me? Once they hit that certain age, they're definitely gonna be thinking like that. I think maybe in their twenties, they're still thinking, "I need to work on me." Of course. Yeah, but I deep think, in their twenties, they start panicking. Yeah. Like. Deep in their twenties, they definitely. Be, I, I'm looking for like. You get your friends. Some of your friends getting married, yeah. having kids, and all yeah, that. well, bridesmaids for two, three years. And that, yeah, well, I'm out. Yeah, Catch fam. Your baby kids. 
fair enough. Oh, move like Shaq at the rim, fam. <laughs> you get me? I remember catching Ben dominating the center. <laughs> when I was at work here, yeah, one of the um, so we had like a, we had interpreters again, innit? You had what? We had interpreters yeah, at yeah. work when we was in the early stone. Um, we was battering him the way he said it. What? We was battering him the way he said oh, interpreters. No, 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 no. We was like, wait, wait, wait. What'd you have? No, I didn't hear him. <laughs> yeah, no, we had interpreters though, innit? And I remember one of them, yeah, she was single and she was like older. She was in the thirties. I remember, like, it was just like running gags. They just they were just saying jokes and banter, mm. but they meant it at the same time. And it was like, I was like, yeah, like, <sighs> she was saying, that, oh, yeah, I'm kind of tired of being the only single one in my friend's batch. Like, I was like, yeah, guys, I know you guys yeah, are all happily engaged and married, from. but hey, like, I would like to also get. <laughs> Savage. It's just, if I said get a <laughs> new, new batch, <laughs> just the same friends that she's grown up with. If you're tired and none wrong. of them's linking you, like, hooking you up. Hooking you up batch, with the friend and that. I know yeah, my man's bro. got a friend. Man's like. got bear brothers and cousins. <laughs> cousins. <laughs> That's Me. funny. But I just found that funny because she was like, she sounded like someone who was confident to say out loud, like, with no hold bars. Not like I'm being modest. She was actually mm. like, how. Like yeah, like I know you guys are all happily engaged and whatnot, but it's like, God, like I'm the I'm tired of being the only single one. Like, have you got any other? Single so what did friends? you say? I just smiled because I thought that's intriguing. I've never heard that said in why person. Do you think that is? Yeah, like what is it that you're not? If it's something that's really pressing you, yeah, it's got why do you be, think that is? Yeah. It's mm. got to be her, man. What it's got to be thinking? About what right now? What I find is that now knowing her, she's probably gonna fill in the gaps with the dating thing. Where does that go from there? I yeah, don't, don't go no. Like, like yeah, less likely. She's gonna go out and be like, I'm just gonna start dating guys that she don't know. Do you, think, do you think this dating thing? Do you think the dating thing is is a cultural thing? Cultural. So from us and our background, it's something that what? What? Yeah, I'm going out to meet random strangers. Okay. Yeah, hundred. I would say day. that for Even sure. Even our background, like I remember, like if like my mum or someone was going to meet somebody, it would have to be a few mutuals. Yeah, there's a mutual. You it know, someone that knows someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's always that. Always. That I've experienced as well. Yeah, it's like it's there always no like way. obviously different cultures. Yeah. They might be going pub. Get me. They're meeting strangers every day. Every yeah, day. It's it's normal. They're having yeah. drinks with strangers and yeah, alone. It's normal. Take the next and I think yeah, yeah, yeah. as <laughs> second generation kids now, or well, some of us are first generation. Some are second generation. We've now just kind of adopted that small, small. So now we've kind of made that into the norm. <clears throat> yeah. But low key again, so I do feel you like think, it's just filling gaps. Do you think dating yeah. apps are? Not helping. I think I don't know that much about dating apps. Mm. All I know is that anyone I've known to use dating apps, don't want to get disrespectful, but the girls I know that use dating apps, the ones that I've known were hoes, just keeping it hunted. And the guys, they were basically hoes too. Like they were just niggas trying to fuck girls and that. So that's all I know about dating apps. I've never met someone that was serious about relationships on the dating app and, like, and took it seriously, you know. So I, I'm not really like, that in, well informed about dating apps. So I, I think the old school well. dating apps slightly turned out to be those type of platforms. You get me? Where it's just like a meet and greeting. Mm. Where and then what, what old school ones though? Like your Tinders. Oh, Tinder. Okay. Whatever. And they started to make these new ones where it's more <laughs> Bumble and all this Bumble, stuff. Bumble. Oh, Bumble's hand. one as well. And also, I know, actually, like knows, I actually know someone who you went on Bumble and they're now married, isn't it? Oh, what? What? Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I don't have a story yeah, like that. Exactly. No, that's a rare percentage. I don't a have a story rare. like that. Story. Oh, shout like, out what? to them. Shout. I hope it lasts. How long have they been married for? I think it's quite fresh. Maybe like a year or two ago. You keep going. Maybe so they what? And they? How long have they known each other for? I don't know. What I'm saying is, you keep going because you're the rare percentage that people need as a stat Trust to me. give them hope. Because and then if they keep, if they see that success, then. More more people will go. We should get them on the pod then. Hundred, yeah. I would love to know because we get them on the pod still. When I see dating, it's like it's gonna get real. It's like in the Matrix. You know how they have the the blue pill to keep them in the Matrix. It kind of keeps like their human stability, and obviously certain people don't want out of the Matrix. Some people just want to live in this bubble. They just want to feel like as if they are living, and they're just oh, going through time. Like and I feel like dating. dating no, no. And I feel like dating is kind of just filling time, whereas the red pill is kind of like, well, look, you can continue doing this dating thing, but the red pill is kind of like, I want you to see the reality of it. Are you really using up a lot of your time here and going to get anything from it? Mm. Because the reality is, it's like, it's just all one social nick. And again, until I see more percentages and I hear more percentages like your friends, I, I see you know, it's, it's the blue pill. All, this, all these things confuse saying. me, yeah. Go on. Because if you look... In the direction that humanity and technology is moving towards, everything is going online. Yeah, <laughs> you it's know, what I mean? the metaverse. Yeah, so bro, I'm thinking, it's mad. Yeah. It's mad. Like, bro, actually, like, 
online thing makes sense. No, not that it makes sense. Yeah, I think that in the like, next few years, we're gonna end that's up. That's going to be the norm. The normal way and meeting people in person is going to be like because there's but actually like, the, you know you know like the, the you know like the metaverse and all that like, that there's people's like their job is to live in the metaverse like they're metaverse workers that's their day job but the thing is is that that's like the end of humanity because like people ain't gonna meet people in real life so that's yeah so weird, sometimes man. i think like, it's like what's right, the all this yeah, cool, there may be benefits so. you can get me speed would you want to live in that though no nah, nah. i wouldn't nah. i would you can't ever i've lived too long like this reality, yeah, just reality just place it. you get me that touch physical touch that's like more like senses, for the smells yeah. all of that that's yeah. more like for the generations ahead of us they'll have no clue that's the matrix though because they will have no clue but listen I've lived too much and live breathe, breathe human air and have human interactions mm. to know if this girl likes me or not for men for me to be moving my life all on, online can't do to, it to put this into simple remember, remember likes in, um, on Facebook come on what about when, you, when, when someone used to like you on Facebook yeah. like they used to like like you yeah what do you mean you remember that like they you have to, your, your Facebook profile yeah and then like you know you have like a friend then that old friend will then like just like your profile I don't remember, but you remember that. You that. You remember that, and then you have like photos as well. All of that stuff there. All of that stuff was like, yeah, yeah. It was mad. Like it a girl would like your page, and you're thinking, bro, she's feeling, man. Yeah. You get me? Like that was because you could do that in real life. I remember there was a prank where I didn't even know how to use Facebook sure. properly. Fam, <laughs> come off that shit. Man. Once I made it, like I just okay. How do I talk to girls? Yeah. When did you make it though? Probably like yeah. Eight. Yeah, yeah, eight was on the Yeah, that's like a good time. Yeah. That's a good time. I had a friend. What, and then you just never used it? No, I used it, but just for what I needed it for. Yeah. I didn't explore it. I remember oh, Facebook. I was poking people and all that shit. Oh, yeah, poking is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about poking. Oh, yeah, then I know. When people that, used to yeah, poke people in that. Yeah, because I didn't know about liking pages. Yeah, no, not liking pages. It was poking. Poking. Yeah. I just I forgot poking. poking. So, like, someone will poke your page. So as in they want to, like, speak to you or, like, they want to chat to you. No, it's just like getting your attention. Yeah. But it's like oh. they poked you in it. Yeah, like, it's like on BVM, you ping someone. Yeah. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was talking about. Not liking. it. So not liking a poke, it was like, oh shit. Yeah, it's like, bro, who's this? You poke them back. Yeah, you put them back. You get like three pokes in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start a convo. <laughs> that's wow. what I'm saying. Like, online things, nuts still. Like, that was kind of like weird. the first wave, really, to be fair. Wasn't it again? MSN. Even from man. MSN. MSN. I, think MSN I went on like, MSN things still. Oh, oh that was like. I was outside. Bro, ducking home. Bro, I was running home to jump on the computer, cuz. What? Because it was, like, it was lit. It was to lit. Go back outside, fam. <laughs> well, no, because it was kind of lit. Because sometimes if you couldn't go back outside, you knew that you was going to continue the conversations that you never could. Bear in mind, this was before BBM. This was before we even had social media. So MSN was the first form where. Mm. Wait, you tell me the people I spent so much of a good time with today. Continue to speak. With I you. can actually still chat to them nah, after that, school. Because my my yeah. my my one was like, once you left school, cherished it. And you go back to the ends. Mm. That was like your own mini. Area, yeah, yeah I, think this, kids, I think it's different. Yeah, I think it is different. Out. I think it like, is different. My crush lived in block of flats right yeah, in front of my house. My crush me. lived in MSN, yeah. See, I didn't have so I that's why I crushes. looked forward to it at times. I've got a mad story about a crush when I was younger, yeah, bro. This yeah. is mad still. Nostalgia, shit, son. No, this is nuts. Basically, I had my first kiss in nursery. Oh, you're moving mad. Bro, I think I had the same thing to fit. It was the it was one of the most traumatic situations <laughs> ever. His face, <laughs> bro. He's it, like, why are you guys, why are you guys misbehaving, bro? Bro, it's mad. No, but like, did you know what that meant, fam? Bro, let me explain the story. Nursery. This is what happened, <laughs> and this is on everything, bro. So I'm in nursery, yeah. Because everyone's had like a girlfriend. Your parents, oh yeah, that's your girlfriend. But uh, you, don't, you don't wouldn't even know what it means, fam. This was nasty, bro. So I'm in, I'm in nursery. Was it, was it nasty, bro? Oh, it was just back then. It was, it nasty, was no, no, this was nasty, <laughs> really nasty. So. So like all, I remember, yeah, all, all I remember, yeah. All I remember, yeah. Nineties baby shit. Come on. It was I was at the doorway in it, and it was like towards the end of the day, and like supposed like waiting for parents that type of thing. I'm in the doorway with this girl, and we kiss. I swear to you, the next thing I would just throw up. <laughs> I just throw up, bro. I swear to you, this is the weirdest shit, bro. We kiss, That's lip to lip. No one knows the story. This is um, this is to the chat. You know, like you keep it to yourself. Why did you throw up, bro? Man. I've never told no one a story, bro. That's that, yeah. Bro, bro, I've thrown up, cuz I've thrown up. My mom grabs me, spit like, your breath up. <laughs> <laughs> so no. what happened? I'm like, oh, I feel sick. Blah, blah. I'm thrown up. 
I, I remember that so vividly. Honestly, it was the maddest situation. That's when I and you, like I said, I kept to myself. Like no one really knew what happened, didn't it? Like I, I, just kept to myself. I've, I've, I've never spoken to no one about that. I've got one. But you have to cut. This.